Hello everyone and welcome to day six. I can't believe it. We are almost done here with Primer Palooza. Time flies when you're having fun. Are we having fun? Skin? My skin might have a different answer than my soul. <laughs> but moving on to today's primer. I am very excited to test this out. This was actually a gift from one of you all, Cheyenne. Thank you so much for sending this my way. This is the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer and this is the Luminous Light to go with, you know, the luminous primers that I've been testing. I mean, that wasn't her intention, but you know, it fits right in. It works. I am really excited to test this out. I mean, it's a full size, so I really hope that it works. Very pretty packaging. Ooh. Ooh, yes, I'm excited. So this is an expensive primer, you know, Hourglass, they've got expensive products. This is $44 for an ounce of product and they do have three different finishes. I think it's to go along with their powders. So they've got the Luminous Light, Mood Light, and then Dim Light. The reviews on this primer aren't the greatest. They're almost at four stars, but I mean, the ones that I've tried out in the past here for Primer Palooza that have almost five stars haven't worked for me. So hey, maybe that'll be something that'll work in this primer's favor. We'll see. But Hourglass just says that this is a primer that is going to blur and just make the pores look beautiful and lit from within. You know, perfecting the skin with a soft, subtle glow, that kind of a thing. It's infused with light correcting pigments that act as a face filter to neutralize, brighten, and also soften the light. Like other primers, you know, it can be worn alone or underneath the makeup to give you that perfect canvas before putting on your foundation. It's oil free and weightless. It's supposedly going to sink right in and also not feel wet or greasy. And it also says on there that Hourglass is a 100% cruelty free, so that is great too. So I think that's about it. I am excited to test this out, see how it does, see if it's just as weightless and wonderful as it says it's going to be. It doesn't say what kind of skin it's meant for, so we shall see, at least for my oily skin, how it ends up doing. So let's go ahead, let's sing the Primer Palooza song together, and then we can go ahead and start testing this out, see how it does. Primer Palooza! Winner or loser. I don't know, I'm, I'm digging the song, you guys. I'm digging it for show. So, take off my glasses, hair out of the face, as always, wearing the glasses for the fellow glasses wearers of the world so we can see if this primer makes awful things happen underneath the glasses, basically. Let's twist this open. Oh, hourglass. Oh, hourglass. You know the weight of my heart. I love a good safety seal. So we'll take that off. And they said to apply a pea-sized amount. So I'm gonna do like half a pea. I think that's half a pea anyways. It's been a while since I've had peas. But there you go. There's what it looks like. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to one half of my face. Oh, that is interesting. It, hmm, hmm. It kind of smells like Play-Doh, and it kind of feels like how I would expect Play-Doh to feel when rubbing it into the skin. I have never tried, but it's it's definitely got a bit of a, a bit of a tug to it. I mean, it, that's okay, but it really does feel weightless, very, very soft on the skin. Yeah, I don't think my skin looks too different from side to side here. You guys can agree or disagree with me. There you go, there's what it looks like. Maybe it looks like it filtered it. Yeah, maybe my pores look a bit blurred over here compared to here, but there you go. Oh, it really, it feels very soft and very nice on the skin. So I am going to go ahead, speed through doing my makeup like I've been doing, and then I will talk to you all in just a second here. And there we go. I can definitely say that the primer helped everything to just like glide on very smoothly, very nicely. It was much less streaky going on and everything, and I just think it looks better on the primed side. I don't know that it necessarily makes my skin look any glowier or anything, 
but I think it does make the foundation look more natural and just nicer overall. So I think that is about it for now. I'm just gonna go about with my day here as per usual. I'm gonna finish doing my face and everything and then film another video and then go to therapy and then come home and cook my dinners for the next week and then get work done and then that's it. So it's one of those kind of days, but as always, I am excited to show you guys how this primer ends up working or not working, hoping it'll work, but you know, it's one of those, I'm always hoping for the best and expecting the worst kind of a thing. But we shall see, hopefully my hopes come true. It is currently 1.13 in the afternoon. I will be checking in with you guys throughout the day just so that you can see how everything is wearing and then I will see you all for my final check-in at the very end of the night. So I'll see you all very soon here on YouTube land. Bye. Good evening, it is the end of the night here. It is currently just about one o'clock in the morning. Oh boy, I'm ready to go to bed. I got everything done today that I said I was gonna get done. Lots and lots and lots of work here tonight, but feels good to have it done. And now I'm just very excited to take a look at my face. I haven't looked at it since I last blotted my face, so I'm excited to see how everything looks together with you all, shall we? I hope you're gonna be able to see here, but I think while, you know, the primer side does look good or good-ish, it doesn't look much better than the non-primed side. To be honest, they look almost completely identical. I think the biggest difference that I can see is that my blush and cheek products hung on a lot better on the primed side, but other than that, I feel like it's equal fading around my nose where I get the oiliest, and then also my foundation is looking a little cakey around the sides of my mouth on both sides. I did know Notice though throughout the day that once my oil started coming through, definitely I got much more transfer on the not primed side. So I do think that the hourglass primer helped to make my makeup stick a bit more because like earlier when I would touch my face on the side with no primer, I can see foundation coming off on my fingers. But at the same time, when I would go to touch the primed side of my face, I didn't see it coming off until closer to the end of the night here, like maybe a couple of hours ago. So I do have to give it that credit, but overall, it just didn't do much of anything for me. I'm so sorry, Cheyenne. I feel so bad when people gift me anything and that it doesn't work out for me. I hope you know that it, this won't be wasted. I will pass it on to somebody so that someone will get use out of it and love it. Unfortunately, that person just won't be me. I mean, I didn't hate it. It didn't make my foundation feel heavy or anything. I actually feel less oily on the side that I used the primer and I think you were able to see earlier on the blotting sheets that this side that had the primer it did seem to have less oil on the sheet, at least I thought so, and like I said, it also had less foundation transfer off onto the sheet compared to the not primed side. So there were good points, just not enough good points for me to want to grab for this. So to put all of those feelings into a numerical perspective, let's hop on into my PAW rating system here. P stands for performance, A is for application, W is for worth the price. So for performance, it did okay and it did it, it did okay so I think I'm gonna give it 
a 2.75 on that. For application, it was mostly good. It was a little bit tuggy going on, but I mean, it really, it wasn't that big of a deal. And it did really, really help my makeup to go on a lot smoother and everything and just blend out quicker. So just because of the slight tugging, I will go ahead and give it a 4.75 on application. And then for worth the price, this is a spendy primer and it just didn't do enough for me to justify the price tag. So for me and my skin, is it worth the price? No. And since there aren't like skincare benefits and stuff, I can't give it any points on worth the price. I'm sorry, Hourglass. That's just, that was just my experience here. So I'm gonna have to give it a zero. So overall, this is getting a seven and a half out of 15 or a two and a half out of five paws. So yeah, I think that sums it up. You know, it was okay. It was just okay. But overall, I hope it was helpful for you guys in seeing whether or not this primer is gonna be something that you are gonna wanna check out in the future, especially because, you know, people love the powder version of these, but I never hear people talking about the primer version. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe people just haven't tried it. Either way, I hope this review was helpful for you. If it was, if you are enjoying Primer Palooza here, please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. I was so jerky. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future, like these Primer Paloozas. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!